want, what you want, what you want. What's up, YouTube? Back Kings Phil here from my week 20 update from Vertical Sleeve. You guys directed me back in July. Um, it's my five month uh, point for those of you keeping track and can, or can do math, one of the two. Um, so uh, that's kind of where we're at. And um, kind of having a shitty day um, overall. It's not really anything to do with the program or weight loss or any of that good stuff. It's just uh, it's just life stuff. And maybe there's a little bit of the whole mental thing in there that's causing this. But um, hmm. take a page out of the the boys' book. Uh, Kirk was saying once that uh, sometimes you got to process it before you talk about it. We'll process it a little bit, and maybe we'll talk about it next week or on Fat Kings Friday. We'll see. Um, but let's just get to the numbers because this is going to be a short video. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, here they are on the day of uh, surgery. I was 332.8. Um, and, uh, this morning I was 252, uh, even. So that, that's pretty cool. Uh, 4.2 pound loss on Thanksgiving week. Gotta love that. And, uh, 80.8 pounds total. So I'm gonna say my turkey day plan worked and we will talk a little bit more about that and, uh, how turkey day went here in a second. Before I do a couple shout outs, um, Lisa VSG, that's L-I-S-S-A VSG, I think had her surgery on Monday. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, so check her out. And I haven't seen any post-op vids yet, but, um, you know, it's early. It's only Tuesday. Um, so hopefully she's doing great. And uh, welcome to the Losers Bench. Um, people to check out, people you got to check out. Uh, little Aussie Mel has been posting videos. Um, I think she's about four weeks in. Um Christy Blake, which I'm sure many of you have seen before. And then, of course, the uh, the ever-popular uh, Gooch Monster has uh, been posting vids. So um, if uh, if you really like the Fat King's flavor, I think he's kind of got that vibe. Um, TJ said he, he thought he kind of felt like he had the same vibe. So um, I didn't catch that right away, but after thinking about it, I'm, I think he might be right. So, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying his videos. It's good. Um some of them are, you know, the first few are always long when you start because you want to tell everybody everything, uh, but they're they're worth every second. They don't feel long at all. So check them out. Um, so that's kind of where that is. So let's back up to Turkey Day. Turkey Day was good. I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I had a little bit of everything, but I will tell you by the time I got done carving the turkey and got to the table after picking little pieces off the turkey um, as I was carving it, uh, I was pretty full. So I didn't get into the potatoes and cranberry stuff um, and all that good stuff as much. But again, one spoonful of those, uh, each of those things, and uh, I took it down fine, and when I was full, I was full. It was it. I was done. So I did start with my turkey, though, and uh, that did tend to fill me up. I did not hit my calories for the day on Thanksgiving. I had started the morning off by just having my yogurt, and then I had coffee, uh, decaf coffee for the rest of the morning, and I was kind of saving up my calories for the afternoon, but uh, I never I never hit my calorie cap. And I did uh, have a spoon, little spoonful of apple pie. Um, or would be considered a very tiny sliver, I guess. Um, but about, about a, um, a large spoonful, I would say of apple pie and then, um, a very small just taste of the chocolate pie we had, um, uh, because I was just, it was a little too sweet for me. So it was, it was really good, but it was just too sweet. So, um, no problem. Sleeve handled everything fine. Next morning I was right back on track. No problems. So I didn't even hit my, um, calorie goal for Thanksgiving day. I don't think I hit my calorie goal for the next few days. Uh, seems like I was eating more turkey. Um, so turkey for snack, turkey for lunch, turkey for dinner. And that solid protein, just having just a lot of protein um, that was uh, not liquid proteins or things, uh, really kept me full all day long. So um, there were a couple times there were three ounces. just seemed like too much. I couldn't get it down. It was just too much. So don't care. Worked out great. You saw the, the numbers this week. Uh, nothing to complain about. I uh, went back to the gym yesterday on Monday. Oh, I don't know before I did that. So uh, Friday, Friday I hung the Christmas lights up. Um, so I was up and down the ladder like a gazillion times, um, which I didn't really pay attention to. But I was out there all day hanging lights, cleaning off the porch lights and the uh, garage lights. Um, they had built up kind of a nasty, gritty film on them just from you know, their external lights. So I took them all apart, cleaned them up, put them back together. Um, so I was out there all day. But I was kind of thinking about you guys quite a bit while I was out there in the quiet by myself and just uh, chilling out and and uh, was thinking a lot about you guys. So I posted a little something on Facebook earlier this week just saying, hey, I was really thinking about you guys and um, I'm very grateful for all of you. So um, I, I do spend a lot of my, my free time, you know, hoping you're doing well in those things. So that's where we're at. Um, thanks again for everything you do. So uh, yeah, that's, a, that's that. Um, 
So, uh, over, uh, Wednesday, I think I said this on Fat Kings Friday. So if it's a repeat, I apologize. But Wednesday, um, before Thanksgiving or yeah, Wednesday before Thanksgiving, I stopped at the liquor store to pick up wine. Um, cause we needed wine for, well, we needed, we wanted wine for, um, Thanksgiving dinner, which I didn't even get any. I didn't have any. I was too full. Um, so, um, the, gl- the girl at the liquor store flat out said, I was staying in line and she was ringing me up and I was getting ready to pay. And she's like, you're very handsome. And I like looked over my shoulder to see who the hell she was talking to. It was the weirdest thing for me. I've never had somebody like openly compliment me like that just in public. Some stranger do that. So that was weird. Um, that was a weird experience. So I thought I'd share it. I'm not bragging. I just think it was strange. Um, and I really just didn't think she was talking about me, to be quite frank with you. Uh, quite frank with you. Um, <clears throat> so that was kind of weird. Um, let's see. What else? Um, there's something else I was going to tell you guys. I can't remember. So... Um, huh. oh well. So Fat Kings Friday this week looks like it's we're gonna record it on our Thursday night, back to our regular Thursday nights. So if you want to watch the live version, you're more than welcome. Please start sending in questions now. Um, I'll be looking for topics. You know, for this one, we don't expect you guys to do all the heavy lifting this week, um, like last week. So um, we'll be looking for topics here between now and then. Uh, that's about all I've got to be honest with you. I know this video is super short for me. I just don't, I'm just not in a, not in a chatty Cathy mood. Um, there was a, one of our cars was flatbedded into the dealership on, um, on, uh, Saturday and it happens to be the, uh, very old, but, um, German, uh, automobile. So anytime you take that car in for any kind of service, it's two or three times as much as any American car would cost. And, uh, somebody told somebody not to buy that damn car. I won't say who told who, but needless to say, I've been a little irritated because I've been the one dealing with the dealership and getting the quotes and just realizing what a terrible, horrible, um, you know, experience this has been with uh, having to pay out all this money right before Christmas, but damn car's broken. What are you going to do? She needs a car. All right. So I've been driving back and forth and doing all the uh, shuttling around of uh, family members, including my wife who works really goofy ass hours. So I will be going back to pick her up here in another three hours. So I came home. I get to make my video, cook dinner, and then go back and pick her up. It's the way it goes. I'm not, it's not her fault. The car broke down. Just it's been a little bit hectic this week. So a little bit stressful. So um, today I think it kind of all came to a head um, for me. And uh, tomorrow my boss is in town. So I got some things I got to take care of tomorrow at work. So that's where I'm at. I got to get my uh, head in the right place before tomorrow morning. And, oh, and we're expecting like six inches of snow tonight, which is unusual for here um so we'll see a total of a foot which i don't i don't believe it till i see it around here you get these kinds of reports all the time and then nothing happens but we shall see um given that i only have one car and uh that i need to be at work tomorrow i can pretty much guarantee that we'll actually get the snow they say we're gonna get but uh other than that um whatever (laughs) all right guys catch you on fat kings friday on thursday remember it's usually good to be the king (laughs) 